Hey mamas, I was sitting with my kids on a recent Saturday afternoon, half watching Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, half scrolling on Instagram, and I came across this gorgeous post from Agent Provocateur, which is one of my all-time favorite lingerie brands. And when I saw this picture of this beautiful babe in a naughty pink plunge lace bra with sparkly silver pasties and gorgeous berry lips and a come hither look in her eyes, I had this sudden inner pang of, oh, I do not feel that way today. Instead, I felt about as far away from that sensual state of being as humanly possible with one giant child draped over my entire body and the other one calling out requests for me for ice cubes, popcorn, and a Sharpie. I saw this picture and suddenly I felt trapped in the mom zone, limited within my role as mother without a babysitter for the whole weekend, with the kids out of school for summer and demanding a whole lot more attention from me and my husband, leaving us with less time and privacy to connect with ourselves and with each other. And seeing that image, I just felt this overwhelming rush of longing, a deep longing to be wild and free in that moment, to express my sensual power and prowess as a woman in that moment, and this feeling came over me in a flash and it made me feel so disconnected from my inner vixen. And then I was like, wait, where is she under this mountain of a child draped on my body? And then I panicked for a second and I was like, is she gone forever? And then almost as immediately as the panic had come on, my instinct, my inner knowing of my feminine sensuality said, no way, of course she's not gone forever. She's just had a hard weekend with no breaks from the kids. And that inner voice then said, flip the switch, mama, turn her on again. Go back to your practice, get back to the practices that you know work to awaken your sensuality time and time again. And so with an hour left of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, I saw my opportunity. I refilled the kids' popcorn and set off to do three simple practices that work to instantly reconnect me to my sensuality. Three practices that put me in touch with my turn on, with that energy that I saw in the picture of the agent provocateur model, that energy that I know I embody, that I know is always accessible to me if I am willing to call upon it and nurture it. And that energy is always accessible to you too. So listen in closely and then go try these practices out for yourself. First, I took space for myself. I stepped away from the shared family room and stepped back into my own private space, my bedroom. I told the kids not to come looking for me and I turned on music and I stood right in the mirror and I planted my feet on the ground and felt into every toe, into the ball and heel of each foot until I felt myself standing firm and solid and present. And then I took five huge deep breaths into my chest and my heart and with each breath, I expanded my arms to take up as much space as possible. And with each breath out, I allowed myself to let out a big, beautiful sigh. <sighs> Just releasing that feeling of being small and limited on the couch, smushed under my kid, and breathing into a bigger expression of me, an expression of myself taking up space. And by taking up space this way, I felt I was accessing pleasure through the art of spacious sensuality. Now, it may not seem like much, but after grounding my feet and taking these five breaths, I'd made space for that inner vixen to come back into me. I'd made room for her to exist again as part of me. And you can do this too. So take space for yourself. Take up space for yourself, right? Even if it's just five minutes, take the space you need away from your kids to make room within your own body for your sensuality to bubble up again. Next, I put on something sexy and just felt into my body. And to be clear, I put on something comfy sexy, which I define as comfy enough to fold laundry in, but sexy enough to really feel myself and get some juicy positive attention from my husband too. So the second practice to connect with your sensuality is to put on something comfy sexy and just feel how it feels on your body. To connect with how the texture of the jersey chemise or satin shorts feels against your curves. 
how the texture of soft central fabric swishes against your body as you walk or as you dance. That day I put on a soft swishy slip dress and a robe and it felt slinky and yummy and touchable and it looked cheeky with a little cherry print and sultry as the strap kept slipping off my shoulder. And I put this set on and I just moved around my room for a few minutes. Moments before I'd been in yoga pants and a tank top on the couch with my kids. Now I was transformed and tuned into a decidedly more sensual vibe. And you can do the same. And please, I wanna encourage you to just let down your guard here. It's okay to put on something sexy and move for yourself. I know that it may feel vulnerable, especially if you're not totally comfortable with your body at this moment in time, but do yourself a favor and just be vulnerable with yourself. Look at yourself without judgment and instead feel the fabric, feel the texture, feel into your body in that yummy fabric and move a little bit. Move into your longing, move into your feelings, even if that means moving into your feelings of overwhelm or being trapped into the mom zone. Moving into those feelings will allow you to move through those feelings. And that's exactly what I did. I moved through those feelings and back into my sensual self. It was a little bit like magic, how quickly this one worked for me. So try it, put on something comfy sexy, something that feels delicious and feel into your body, moving to those feelings and desires that naturally come up for you. And then I did one more practice. I activated my senses using food. In my slip dress, which was appropriate to be seen by my kids, I went into the kitchen and cut up a big juicy pink grapefruit and really paid attention to turning on all my senses. I plucked a sharp knife from the wood block and admired its shine and cool temperature. And then I sliced it in two and delighted and giggled at the rather sensual pink feminine imagery of a halved grapefruit. I closed my eyes and brought a piece of it up to my nose and breathed in its sweet citrusy smell. And I actually allowed myself to slip into a little daydream of wandering around a citrus grove somewhere in the south of Italy with sexy Italian farm boys plucking fruit all around me. And then I took a big bite into the flesh and felt the coolness on my teeth and the sweet juiciness on my tongue and the wetness on my lips. And the whole thing felt delicious and sexy. This practice is so, so simple and yet so effective at connecting you to your sensuality. Food is a sensual experience because simply put, it ignites the senses, touch, taste, smell, sight, and sound. Feeding your senses feeds your sensuality. And so there you go. With three simple practices, I'd taken myself from a mom panicking on the sofa about her sensuality being starved by an intense weekend with her kids back into a woman who'd taken ownership of her sensuality and desire. And it was so easy. And I swear it can be that easy for you too if you just try. If you just try these practices out and make them your own. You are more capable and more empowered than you know to own your sensuality as a mother and as a woman and to reignite your relationship along the way, even if you feel way out of touch with your sensual nature right now. All you have to do is start somewhere and these three practices are a great place to begin. Good, so thanks for watching and of course, I wanna know what you think and how it went for you. So please leave me a comment below and tell me how you felt after trying any of these three practices. And be sure to check out my website, danabmyers.com, and sign up for more tools and resources to feel more satisfied and sensual as a mama and to reignite your relationship after kids.